Hello everybody and welcome back uh, to the Crimson Furry Estate. Ba -da -da -ba -da -da -bum -bum. Alrighty. So, as promised, at the end-ish of the previous episode, the curse begins to spread. So, we're gonna do just that. Um, we don't have very many uh, dark spawn things yet. But we could potentially make a handful of vampires, and I know exactly who we're going to start with. But more importantly than that, there's a moon cloak, and uh, I kind of want to go get that because I don't know if you know this, but our entire estate, get this, is pitch black. I know, I that's crazy. Like, <laughs> never heard of it before. But yeah, no, uh, the moon cloak. Ah, yeah, it, it uh, mm, you know, really good. <laughs> We're basically permanently getting fifteen percent uh, protection and ten dodge. Permanently, except you know, with a couple exceptions. But for the most part. We're, we're just getting pure value. So, as much as I would like to get Diggs' lucky loop, it's probably a better idea just to go get the moon cloak, truthfully. So, we're going to bring out this team and just do our best. And because we're going to the ruins, I figure the Disciple will pretty make, pretty much make this easy peasy. Also, she definitely wants to be part of the Crimson Curse, so who am I to deny her? Alrighty. In our quest to get the items of the dark, who's here's who we bring: the Saw Hunter with the dazzling charm, bananas, because you know it's pretty good. Bloodletting teeth, heckling gunshot, hunter salutations, and auger of ebrietas. I don't know how you say that properly. Art knife, the powder keg with the lantern of light and earth. Digs his head, spear thrust, staggering shot, just in case, nail bomb, you never know. And visceral attack. We then have the gourmet, with the invigorating feathers, book of sanity, choice cut, just in case, tenderize, quick snack, and taste test. We then, of course, finish off with the disciple, who has the badge of the shackled, Sissy Owl's head, and all of her abilities so there is something i need to do the curse and oh right well we can't do it in combat but you know what we can do in combat visceral attacks <laughs> that wasn't even a max roll okay fine fair enough be that way i'm just gonna heal us back up Gather that loud. I'm immune. Okay, you're also immune to being uh, stunned, but the blood. Ah. Yay! Two more people that are part of this accursed hive. Okay, we now summon a necromancer because we gotta kill. I think. Okay, not able to stun them. That's fine. So I was asked. To get a lot of value out of Visceral Attack on Art Knight, and I intend to do just that if we can help it. But, of course, it's not always going to work out. Sometimes we're just going to do a lot of damage instead. Grilled Cursed Marrow. Well, it is extra food. So... Okay, you specifically have to kill with Hand of Death. Okay, alright. Fair enough. At least we know. And she's still doing a crazy amount of damage to um, to all the undead here anyway, so it's fine. But, uh, you know, a little bit of extra healing would have gone a long way. Now, it does suck that we're running into so, in so many enemies that can't be stunned, but hey, what are you gonna do? We're gonna find value one way or another, even if we're stunned. I had a feeling. <laughs> Oh, you already know what time it is now. Visceral attack time. <laughs> you know what? It's only gonna get better. Ooh, bit of blood. 
Okay, so... I don't know how much his, uh... Food things are worth. But holy crap, we are finding a lot of them this time. Also, you know, healing could be a little bit better. Maybe if we rolled, a uh, 50%, just a little bit more often, it'd be a bit better. But hey, what are you gonna do? 90%, 90%, 63, uh, 90%. Nice. So yeah, I'm really curious to see how much his food items are actually worth. Because technically, we could just take the gourmet out more often. And then we would kind of be rewarded with quite a bit of food while also having a type of healer. Oh boy. Um. Stun. Okay, we won't be able to get a visceral, but... Pickles! Ow. 11 crit directly into our face. That's completely fine. Yeah, we're not doing much damage, though, because we are, uh, believe it or not, not undead. All right. Let's go ahead and get a salutations up. That way we can potentially stun them when they go for a shot. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, a little bit problematic there. Uh, let's get a heal before anything bad happens. Miss the 50% with the big iron on his hip. Okay, okay, yeah, problematic. Very problematic. Oh my god. Goodness, it might not be a visceral attack, but I'll tell you what, it's plenty of damage. Wet work. <laughs> how? How? How do you dodge? Okay, all right. I, hey, who am I to say? Get a stun right here. Oh, that's the juiciest visceral attack I've ever seen. Big iron on his hip. Oh, it does resist the other stun, though. Oh, boy. Okay, don't. Oh, of course you bled, of course. Well, you know what? The gourmet still gets a turn. Everybody gets a damage buff because we're all under 33%. Heal that, please. And we get a restoration and a crit heal. Awesome. That's, uh, that's best case scenario. Okay, you recovered. That's fine. Oh, it's time for the visceral. <laughs> Um, please kill. Nah, it's not nearly enough. Well. Oh, minimum roll. Okay. Uh, certainly not going good. Oh, what is with these minimum rolls, dude? He doesn't even have protection. Okay. Well, the big iron on his hip went ahead and missed, so that's pretty cool. Wait, work. Okay, good dodge. Excellent dodge, if I do say so myself. Art Knight does so much damage. <laughs> hey, look at that. Wow. They, actually, they dropped some pretty legit stuff. Um, I I kind of want it. I, I kind of want... Is that another room battle? Dude, what the... Okay, I kid you not. Room battle. Nothing. Room battle. Room battle. Room battle. Room battle. God dang, bro. This is a level one dungeon. Chill out. <sighs> what are we going to leave behind? I really, I don't want to leave anything. Although that ruby. That ruby's calling my name. <sighs> you know what sucks though? Because it's a level one dungeon, we're not going to find another ruby. We might find another emerald. Holy water will be really good. Oh, we get to see the value. 350 per 350 per. okay so they're all worth 350 okay gotcha i i want to i want to take them but i and this is really gonna hurt now you know what we're gonna leave the single portrait which is still not a choice that i would have liked to make but it's a choice that we're making okay more gold awesome i, phew, I was about to use the holy water that would have been a mistake all right, let's camp. Let's uh, let's get a little bit healed up, shall we? Still got plenty of battles to go. Produce a random trinket. Mm. Let's see. I know. Ah, here we go. Prevent nighttime ambush. <sighs> People of Yarnum burn these during the hunts. We can heal for forty percent. Everybody heals more damage before above seventy-five. Ah, uh, okay. 
And then we have a chance for a gourmet food. Okay. Uh, what is this? Has quality that fills with a hearty sensation. Um, I think, I guess we leave the, well, actually, wait a minute. So we can only stack this three times? Wait a minute. Oh, that's not great. You know what? Let, let's... Hmm. Oh. Oh, we can't eat it. Really? I thought it was edible. I guess we leave it? That doesn't feel very good. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we leave it. Mm. Okay, more chance to stun. But we take a little bit of damage. That's fine. The hardest choices require the greatest sacrifices no we are not we don't need an invitation we already have an invitation i don't want it i don't need it you're craving feast this might be a difficult dungeon but it sure is giving us goodies oh my god ah uh, speaking of dismiss head and baristan's head I'd say that's worth leaving the holy water, the keys, and some cursed marrow behind, wouldn't you? Yum. Uh, and then... Yeah, why not? So apparently we can eat it? I, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because we're camping. <laughs> Good thing we're not going back that way. Oh. Goodness. Talk about the gift that keeps on giving. Uh, I want... The portrait. I want the ruby and that's it. We're done. <laughs> also, we got something called the hag special, so uh, you know, we're just not gonna question that. We're also gonna open this. It's trapped. Okay, well, what are you gonna do? So what did we get? 16k gold, the moon cloak, four deeds, 14 busts, and a single portrait. We also got one level two and not many others. Bad healer, uh, that sucks for one move, and that's kind of it. The Friar's Inquest. The population is reminded to maintain skepticism in the face of seemingly innocent questions from our honored guests so as to prevent spread of unfairly biased hearsay regarding our estate's <laughs> checkered history find the mendicant friar and uh we're not going to question why he has a caitiff's head but friar disappeared he was last seen in the ruins go find him fair enough you know what they say the man in the holy robe does fuel our conquest. Now, this might be, might be what some call a bad idea. But we're going to do it anyway because I'm insane. Okay, so, Scratchy, right? Black Cat, we, all, we know him, we love him. Immune to Crimson Curse. That doesn't say anything about being immune to being a dark spawn. Not that it went off anyway. We had 13% chance to resist that and we did. Hmm. Awesome. But at least we landed it on one out of the two. Not bad at all. The Dark Brood. So yes, all four of these people are eventually going to be Darkspawn. I thought it'd be fitting. The Occultist, I think, fits more as a Darkspawn. Because, I mean, <clears throat> for one... I mean, Dark Strength, haha. <laughs> He's all about, you know, the Occult. 
I don't know. I, I just, even though he is a refined gentleman, I don't really see him sitting down to get a sip of wine. Oh my god! What's that? <laughs> okay, this place is huge. Well, time to enjoy that. Now, I do not remember what a lot of these things need, so this is going to look especially stupid. No. 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 Yes! And we got some blood. Hey, how about that? Always in need of that. So, I'm... I want to say a good 90% sure that shamblers do not spawn here. So, we're just going to hang out in the dark the entire time. Also... That was really stupid of me. I should have given the bloodied fetish to the gourmet to maximize our chances. I didn't do that, and that was dumb, but we still got it anyway, despite Scratch actually having less of a chance to get it. So, you know, what are you going to do? So, that was our only two goblets for the moment, but we did get a dark spawn out of it. So, hey, it's not like we didn't get anything. And we're also trying to get a little bit of progress in the dark spawns. Pet cemetery get it their pet cemetery because this is their their like brooding breeding grounds oh get it it's hilarious Well, this place continues to be a battle of attrition, and we continue to lose. Right, I forgot they don't technically have secret rooms, do they? So, uh, wait, there was another secret room? I will admit, I've, like, I've opened two or three chests that have been battles, which definitely hasn't helped. Because I got greedy. Because every dark diamond is worth 1.5k, which is more than a ruby. Because, hey, you know, gotta get that gold somewhere. Unfortunately, we did lose Scratchy. Despite having a good amount of healing, we didn't have enough stress healing. So, unfortunately, this is gonna be an abandoned quest. What also sucks... We were going to get the Blue Lantern, which I was so excited about because, once again, permanent value on it. But it just didn't work out that way. Nothing can ever be quite that easy, now can it? Okay, so we're going to get the Siren, which is a pretty good trinket that I would like to get. Issue along the way we appear to have encountered some very nasty people. So, we bring Mizufur the Fawn with Diggs's head, Charm of the Isles, because you already know we're going to have one, um, Gouge, Throat Skewer, Maim, and Drill. We then have the Miscreant with the Moon Cloak, Lantern of Light, and Death. Salad Knife, Go for the Jugular, Ace in the Hole, and Mirth and Glee. Then we have the Practitioner with the Invigorating Feathers, Box of Mandarins, Invoke Nenra, Combine Thalassic Remedy, and Strike the Earth. And then we finish off with Josephine the Antiquarian, who has the Bloodied Fetish, Bananas, Nervous Stab, Fortifying Vapors, Invigorating Vapors, and Protect Me. So, who am I most worried about on this team? What other trinkets? Uh, fortunate armlet for the leper. He also has a healing armlet. Ugh. Dancer's foot wraps, move resistance, more dodge, less healing received. Okay. Uh, more dodge, less healing received, more healing done. Dodge and speed. I'm afraid of the dancer. <laughs> calling her that is <laughs> like i had to take an actual pause because i'm like wait a minute the shield breaker even though she's called the dancer um yeah 
But you know what? I kind of don't want them to get healing. So I think I'm going to try and deny that. Okay. Oh, you invigorating vapors. That's going to be a bit of dodge for them. Expose. Okay, a little nasty. Go for a stun. <laughs> I'll take that. That's not bad at all. We'll do our own invigorating vapors just to try and counteract what they're going to do. Revenge. Oh, boy. It's a bit scary to see from the enemy side, huh? Okay, puncture that has a chance to pull. Guard break. That's fine. All right, let's move backwards. Do a little bit of damage to Leper because uh, if we can do damage to him, I would prefer to. Go for the jugular. Okay, knocks him back. Does a bleed. Very good. Okay, invigorating vapors. They're now up to 14 dodge. No, 10 dodge. They're getting 5 per. Okay. Um, I really wish we could hit him. I would have gone for the uh, kill. All right. Let's just keep stacking dodge of our own then. Solemnity. Okay, he is going to receive a little bit more healing. I'm actually going to lower their accuracy, and that... Oh, if it hits, would have guaranteed a kill as well. All right. Stun the Scholar. All right. Not great. Yeah, no, not good. Vulnerability Hex, rather than healing himself. I like it. The aggressive option... Unfortunately for him, probably not going to work too well because now he's dead. Okay, Serpent Sway. That's going to be an Aegis or two. Oh, she does actually get two of them. Yikes. Okay. Then I'm going to get rid of one right now. Intimidate. That's fine. So we can take you out, no problem. Tag? Apparently the Leprous tagged. Wait, is that something the Miscreant does? No. What the heck is tag? I mean, I, I understand it's a mark, but... Weird. Alright, let's go for a heal on ourself. Even though we could go for an AoE, it should be fine. Okay, well, I see that heal didn't go very well. Okay, flash powder. That's going to be reduced accuracy. Nothing we can't deal with. I'm going to go for jugular right here. Okay. Cultist is also going to go down. Uh, we're... Oh, and we got a dodge. Yikes. Okay. Keep him in the fight. Okay, you go down. I might invoke an... Ah, you know what? Okay, blocked. We do get a stun. Awesome. All right. Good, 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 good. Now, stunner. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. I'm actually going to get a little bit of stress healing because we can. Okay, you recover from stun. That's fine. Still have that dodge, which could end up being a little bit of a problem. Let's see. Yeah, except minus dodge is a bit of a problem. Okay, let's try and counteract it as much as we can. Go for a self-heal because you are currently the one being beaten up fairly badly. Pierce, straight back to death's door. Exacties, in fact. Uh, okay, that's fine. Didn't get a blight. Awesome. We're still in it. We're not done yet. Oh, Mizifer, you gotta hit those. Okay, Miscreant does take her out. That's fine. Has a little bit of a uh, sweetheart thing going on. Okay, you know what? How bad is this bleed? Two over four? I'm actually gonna cure that. I know how crazy that sounds, considering the practitioner is the one who's getting beaten up the most, but... Oh. That bleed is gonna stack up real fast. You know what else is gonna stack up? Not us. Okay, we are dazed. And if you're curious what dazed does, it basically makes it so that you have to act last. It's a uh, butcher circus thing. Okay, go for a tiny bit of healing, and then also top ourselves back up. If we can squeeze out a little bit of extra healing, I'm going to. Adler's Kiss, it's going to be a blight. Not that it lands. And Mizifer finally gets 
her revenge with a KKK. Oh, four rare antiques. Uh, I'm going to cure that. And then I'm going to take six emeralds. Um, okay, our debuffs will go away. <sighs> Might have to camp a little bit early. I don't want to, but needs must, you know? Mm, can't really carry anything else. Yeah, I think we camp. Even though it's going to be a little bit unfortunate timing-wise. <sighs> okay, yeah. Definitely need a camp now. All right, here we go. Also, dude, <laughs> look at the amount of treasure we have. It is crazy. Provided we actually all survive. Which we shall see. We're going to open up nice and easy. 20... Three crit. Well, I wouldn't necessarily call that a nice and easy opening, but I would call it a great opening. <laughs> okay, um. You know what? Just lay on the damage. Song of Desires? Oh, miss me with that. Um. Eh, why not? Reduce he she heals, doesn't she? I could have sworn she has a move that heals her. Maybe I'm mistaken? You know what? I think it, I think I'm thinking of a rework mod. That being said, oh my god, Could, the accuracy isn't that bad. 85? Uh, maybe it is actually. Hey. Okay, that's a crit. We get rid of one of our turns. Although we are bled through over five, a little bit nasty. Keep laying on the damage, and I think we're gonna heal that bleed before it gets too out of hand. Yeah, if we can prevent ourselves from being absolutely destroyed, that would be ideal. Um, out of all the targets you could have picked, that wasn't the one. Uh, sorry, Antiquarian. We're going to do a little bit of damage to you. Oh, hey. Welcome back. <laughs> that works for me. Slap some sense into her. Uh. Okay, that one could be a little bit more of a problem. <laughs> no touch fishy. Uh, oh, you love to see it. Look at that. Mizifer knows what's up. Uh, keep laying on the damage on the Siren herself. She's going for high tide. Didn't summon a bulwark. Which means we get to get more damage on her. I gotta tell you, so far this has been an extremely smooth fight. Although now that I've said that, it's probably gonna go completely wrong. Okay, drill. Ugh. Ouch. I'm curious, can we be stunned while we're dazed? I imagine we can, right? Uh, uh, how much damage will this do? Two to three? That'll be fine. Oh, look at that. See? Perfectly fine. We'll take a stun. Stuns are okay. Ooh, big hit. Big hit. Big. Bleed. Bleed, 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 bleed. Yeah. Say goodnight. Bad hit it at some point. <laughs> Let's see. We got this for the Blazing Lord. More stress while camping. 10% protection. Minus 10 dodge. Uh, okay. All right. Pretty good. Um, I'm going to take the trinkets. Why not? We'll get rid of that and that. There you go. Um, Keep the key just in case. These are worth five each. I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll take the treasure just because we can. And we're done. Secret room? No. What did we get? We ended up with, rounding up, 34k gold. We got an absolutely disgustingly good trinket for Nosferatu. And we also got two busts. Nice. Wary? I'll take that. Hard noggin. Okay. Fear of bloodsuckers, yet a vampire hater. Wait a minute. So she's afraid of bloodsuckers because she hates them. Okay. Hey, look who's back. The hood has finally returned. Goodness, that, that actually took a very long time to get another hood. Oh. 
right, well, what do we got next on the menu? Um, we could go do the fryer. Wait, what is this? Disable transformation, but you repost every time you're hit. And when you attack someone, you debuff them with minus 20%. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, this is for the sawtooth. Relatively good. Let's see. I kind of... Mm, I want to leave town events open if I can. Hmm. All these missions are so high level, though. I mean, don't get me wrong. We could probably do them, but I still... I kind of want to level up the lower people first. After all, we do still have quite a few who need to be leveled up. And I mean, to be fair, we are doing relatively well. Everyone is getting an equal amount of levels. Some people are a little bit higher level than others, which, hey, let me be the first to admit. But overall, I still think we're doing a really good job at spreading out our levels. That being said, this episode isn't too long yet, so we can get a bit more progress, huh? Uh, technically, we could go for the profit. I don't want to start the courtyard yet. Uh, call it cowardice, but I'm kind of afraid of starting it this early. <laughs> so, more levels. <clears throat> Fortuitous clumsiness. So long as she does not hurt herself, again... The folk of the hamlet allow her some childish fun. And it seems that fun can help her learn about her past childhood. We can use this to our advantage. Yeah, I don't know if we can this time. <sighs> so we got the drop of kindness. Uh, no, I'm not salty about it. I'm not salty that the uh, estate where I really wanted it, I never got it. And then two estates in a row, we got it early. I'm not upset about that at all. So... I know that's very weird for me to say, oh, well, actually, we don't want it. But 25% extra disease resistance for everybody on the roster. That is actually very bad. So as painful as it is, despite having it, we're not going to use it. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I mean, hey, if nothing else, we get to see her sort of dance around for a little bit, chasing that, whatever that is, the goo, I guess. But, overall, still doing pretty good. Uh, let's see. Then I'm gonna seek out the names, they will supply it to you. Oh, gather the blood. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to just bring this team again. They did really well. Call it lucky, call it unlucky. The fact remains the same. The coven has infiltrated our courtyard, and we cannot let that stand. We will greet them, because we are honorable. But... <laughs> Dude, I like the interaction of that. We greet them, he pulls a gun, we know that he's gonna do that, he ducks out of the way of a freaking bullet, and then gives him one of his own. Unfortunately, his partner also did it, so, you know, there's that. But, either way, they will be cleansed from this court. So says us. Let's go ahead and put a regen on everybody. It is going to hurt our accuracy just a little bit, but it's nothing we can't deal with. We're going to go ahead and give a little bit of extra damage to the good old hunter. Okay, a uh, little bit more damage, 10%. Not bad, not bad. Let's see, what are we at? 127? Let us ponder. And then, let us have an epiphany. <laughs> you know, the more I use the resonant, the more I realize, man, she's actually real fun to use. <laughs> now, you do have to be really careful with the big iron on her hip, <clears throat> with her stress. Oh, wait, what did she say? She had special dialogue. Something like, they arbor you, owl. I don't know exactly what she said, but she definitely said something special. Crab. Time for crab. Okay, we don't get the stun. That's fine. Don't need it. Don't even want it, in fact. Let's see. Big hit. Big hit. Actually, you know what? 
Okay, he's taking a little bit more damage with the big iron on his hip. Luckily, he is not hitting those. I'm going to go ahead and go for Enliven. And we're cleansed. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's go ahead and heal a little bit of stress here. It's also going to give us resistances for literally every stat. Um, I'm going to go for Threatening Pose. Ugh. That's pretty threatening. Crab lifts up its arms, gives it a little click click. I don't know about you. I'd be threatened. Okay, luckily they can't hit the broad side of a barn. Do it again. Ooh, minimum roll. Nasty. Okay, ponder. Now then. Eight damage, not bad. This denial cannot last. Big iron on his hip. Bye. No, he still has health. <laughs> You know what? The idea was there. It would have been so cool if we killed him with the repost. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem it's going to work out that way. The reflect. Not the repost. Blah! Blah, 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 blah. You know what? Words are hard. It's no wonder people who are trying to learn English struggle so much. I, Dude, I only speak English, and I can't even speak proper it. That being said, time for some special trinkets. Actually, can we use a key? No, okay. Well, I had to try. Come on, I had to try. All right. What's inside? Ooh. The betrayal for the hive. The thirst gains more life steal. Uh, he deals a little bit less damage to himself. He gains more crit versus bloodsuckers. And times two crit versus courtyard bosses. So if he has a 50% crit chance and then he hits a uh, courtyard boss he has a hundred percent crit if i'm doing that properly i'm probably not regardless though uh we're trying to get some blood because since we are turning people into uh vampires and the like food is kind of become or not food blood is kind of becoming a problem luckily it seems we do have a couple servants in our midst you <laughs> again fine i greet you as an adversary and nothing more i see you've taken my greeting lightly then perish cure all concoction that doesn't cure stuns does it no good i'm glad about that time for crab okay big stun big stun colossal stun Works for me. Pick off! Okay. We draw just a little bit quicker. He's stunned. You're going to be stunned next turn. I'm going to go for a little bit of damage on you. One health. Oh. Okay, let's give a little bit of damage to the good old hunter. After all, a hunter must hoot. Take one of them out. Uh, still two rogues. There's also the naturopath. <laughs> nasty repose that also gives us a stun very nice we're gonna get confused for a little bit uh we can't pull you at all can we well you're mine to mine Ooh. in this frame we stand immortal okay that doesn't cure stun either good Get a little bit of damage. He's going to resist because he just recovered from stun. That's fine. So, a little bit of damage here. But, as soon as she gets her turn, we're going to get something real fun. What work? <laughs> wow. So, it's rare that I get to do this. 100% crit while virtued. Hey. <laughs> However, we are stressing ourselves out much more because we're virtued, so a little bit unfortunate there, but what are you going to do? Let's go ahead and give a pie. That way we can get through that, no problem. Uh, be gone from my realm. This is our courtyard. Halogen Vapor. Surprised you didn't have any unique dialogue for that one. Uh, big hit. Okay, a little bit of bleed on there. You like that? Wet work. Ouch. We actually resist. Very nice. Keep giving a pie. After all, a junta gets hungry. Uh, 
you're oh, one health. One. Wait. Wait, I'm still virtue. What is my hundred percent? What? Question mark. Why was it not a hundred percent hit? I clicked it too fast, kind of expecting that it would be a crit. Now I'm confused. All right, let's go ahead and change back. Um, we're going to go into a hallway. I was going to put the regen, unfortunately. Uh, that does not count as free action. So, 100%. But now it's 100% again. Mm, okay. Little confused there. Not entirely sure what happened. But uh, maybe he just... Oh, you know what? I bet you she gave him a minus crit chance. I bet that's what it was. Yep. Yeah, I think I figured it out. For a final task of this episode, we are going to take out the Prophet. Also, um, yeah, I tried to make the Veiled a um, Darkspawn. Unfortunately, uh, the Chalice did not work, as is slowly becoming tradition now. And he got Crimson Cursed on the way over, so that's fantastic. So we'll just pretend that he's a Darkspawn, because, uh, you know. RNG wasn't in our favor for that one. But we bring Kale the Sawtooth with the bloody feather, Dismas's head, Butcher Blade, Marrow Cracker, Blood Scent, and Booze Cruise. We then have Old Glory, the Arbiter, with Diggs's head, Bananas, Burst Concussive Shot, Raptorial Nature, and Eagle's Eye. Then, of course, we have Caius the Voivode. With the Lantern of Light and Death, the Moon Cloak, all of his abilities, and the Veiled, with Invigorating uh, Feathers, Bloody Fetish, because it was supposed to maximize our chance of getting that, uh... <sighs> but whatever. Give to the Living Withering Chant, Grave Grasp, and Death Wish. On we go. <laughs> Prognostication. That's fine. Oh, that is so fine. Okay. So, I'm just going to test the damage. Alright, well, we didn't crit. I was really curious to see how much we would do. Um, five to nine. Or... Really? This ignores armor and yet it still does less? Okay. Fair enough. We're going to break those pews one way or another. Six six nine. <laughs> nice. Okay, so far so good in terms of damage. I'm gonna go for Eagle's Eye on Kale. I feel like she'll be doing the most damage here. And let's go Raptorial Nature to get a repulse going. That's all. Fulminate. Bop. Okay, ten damage on the Prophet with a little bit of damage reflection. Rubble of Ruin. And we are on the verge of ruin ourselves. Prognostication. Can he not die to uh, dust or dots? Well, that's something. Okay, we go ahead and heal everybody, and then we give a regen. Or heal ourselves and then give a regen to everybody. I know what I'm saying. A crit for 26 being called Jossum by Kale. Then, hey, may as well just take it out while we have the opportunity. Okay, two pews remain. We're going to get a little bit of repost value. 10 damage. Oh, 42 stress? Holy. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Be that way. Rabalabuin. Okay, well, he's back to death's door, but we saw that he's not going to take any damage, so I'm not too worried about it. Prognostication. I am kind of debating just going for the profit at this point. <sighs> okay, let's get some bleed on him. That's going to allow Kale to get some good damage, and then I think we might transform next turn on Caius. We're about to find out. Okay, we're not going to be able to hit him, so I guess we're still going for the pews. Fulminate. Okay, we do get Death Door proc. Nothing we can't handle. Unfortunately, we don't land any of our posts, which is really unfortunate. 24 crit on the Prophet. 
Rabble of Ruin. Okay, not quite on death's door. Okay, this is fine. Everything is fine. Although our healing done is uh, really going down. And it is going down fast. However, we are doing a ton of damage to the fuse, so it's not going to stay that way for too terribly long. I want to transform now. Issue, if we do, it's going to put Old Glory directly in prognostication range, so instead we're just going to stack a little bit of a bleed. Okay, he's going for a stun. It's also going to do a lot of stress. Okay, stun did land. Awesome. Uh, Raptorial Nature, because a repost just sounds very very good right now rebel of ruin is going to go off on caius eh, pretty good amount of damage okay prognost prognostication is going to hit no matter what it's time to drop the act behold grr i'm a giant bat now okay old glory's stressed out but he's vigorous not bad not bad at all soul feast Okay, a little bit of life steal goes a long way. I'm gonna go. I'm I'm really tempted to actually do damage. Reason being, oh, and it did. Minus five percent death blow chance. Yeah, buddy. That pew survived with one health. I'm very upset by this. <sighs> Should have just left it to Kale. Oh well. Old Glory's better at killing living things, not pews. Okay, we're on Death's Door Unveiled once again. Uh, was he stunned? Yes. Ugh. Okay, well, let's hope that 5% chance comes into play. We double dodged the rubble. Wow. Okay. That's fine. Everything will be just fine. Rapturous Instincts. Oh, Oh, you're gonna regret. Ooh, buddy. 20 damage. We're also stacking that bleed. 8 damage. However, you are dead to the hands of the master himself. Goodbye. I kind of want this. Um, okay. Blueprint, absolutely. Dodgy sheath, we already have one of those. Keys, this, Sh shovel? Okay, yeah, you know what? We'll just, we'll take everything. And then just to make ourselves feel better, uh, there you go. Ooh, we're done. Not bad. What did we get? And technically, we were doing that under leveled too, so. There is a world where that was a bad idea. Also, we got 60 crests. I don't know if you guys saw that. Ugh. Yokai Slayer. Oh, replaced Hard Noggin, though. Dang. I actually really liked Hard Noggin because it meant, um, I mean, 10% extra stun resist is never a bad thing, you know? Anyone new? No. Well, we'll replay, we'll get Scratchy his second of nine lives somewhat soon. You know what? Scratchy's just resting. <laughs> uh, well, we did get the hood back, though, so that's nice. Ah, but, hey, at the very least, we're not doing too bad on deaths. Let's see what's accessible to us at the moment. We can go get more blood, which will be relatively nice. Um, any special trinkets? We can already go for the final necromancer. Jeez. Uh, okay, nothing too much of note. All right. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and I'm pretty sure we can do this. Where is it? Ah, Sanguine Vinters. I really want it. If we can get some blood, that would be really good. Oh, man, this conversion is going to hurt. 18? Uh, how many... How many crests? Oh, painful. Really painful. Do we want it that bad? 
I mean, we're not doing too bad on blood right now. Hang on. Let me... How much blood do we have? Oh, okay. We're currently sitting at 20 blood, and we just got another goblet. Okay. Well, we can hold off a little bit then. If nothing else, we actually have the blueprint to get the Sanguine Venters when we need it. But with that being said, I believe that's going to do it for this episode of The Crimson Furry Estate. Thank you guys so much for watching. All in all, we got a lot done in this episode. Quite a few levels all around. Uh, a couple people did get stressed out, and a couple people did unfortunately go down. But all in all, I still think we made a good amount of progress, and we barely have one page of level ones left. So, hey, so far so good. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and in the next one... We're gonna basically continue at this pace. It's honestly not that bad. Bye.